Hi, welcome to um, another Lewis Art vlog. Today I'm going to be building a canvas. Uh, so I'm going to be kind of just filming this as I go and uh, we'll, we'll see how we see how, how it turns out. Um, it could be several hours <laughs> or it could be five minutes depending on the quality of the film I suppose. I've probably already cut about four bits out of this. Um, so I definitely cut that bit out, this is walking towards a chair. So um, I'm going to get set up here on, on my workstation. This is where I'm going to be building my canvases. So this is the first time I've done this. Um, so my plan was to have this height and space, uh, this raised space so that I could, I could work um, and build canvases. Interestingly enough, what I haven't done yet, because I don't have a uh, jigsaw at the moment, is um, cut the edge where I thought I was going to cut it originally. But now I've got this kind of set up here. We'll see how it goes today, because if you, if you take a look at the canvas, it actually fits right across there where the box is in this place as well. So um, if I cut this edge off, it, it may actually cause me a problem. So it's a bit wobbly on the end, but um, I don't know, I might, I might leave it there. The reason I was going to cut here is because it would fit underneath with the frame. Um, so it's more solid here and there. Um, and also just to take the sharp edge off, I could, I suppose, just take it a little bit further, just take this edge away so that I've got a rounded edge so I'll walk past it and catch, catch it on myself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this isn't a you will need a uh, Blue Peter job or anything like that. Um, it's basically just me putting the canvas together. So what, what do I need to start with? So I've got my workspace ready. First of all, I've got my, uh, my pine, I've got my pine gallery stretcher bars. I have um, 40 inch and 30 inch, and that's what I'm gonna to put together. And then a, and then a single crossbar um, to go uh, to support the two 40 inch bars. Uh, the reason I do it like that is because I was always advised that anything over a meter needed to have a cross support, a stretcher support, anything below a meter, you didn't need it necessarily. So that's kind of how I've always gone with that. Um, I, I think I do it that way mainly just to, just to make sure that it's not an additional cost because the cross stretch bars, strangely, are quite expensive um, when you consider it's just a piece of pine cross support. But there you go, that's how it is. Probably won't put that in. Right, okay, so, so, um, I'll, bring, I'll do a bit of switching around because I'll move the camera in and away as well. Um, but basically, um, so I've got the four stretches and I'll show you a little bit closer what's going on there. So each stretcher has been pre-cut with the groove inside and they basically just slot in together. So this is a fairly straightforward process. So what's important is making sure that we get the right angles in place for the corners of the frames and make sure it measures out evenly. Um, I've got a few tools to help me with that. So to help, to ensure that I get the right angles correct, I have my, um, my right angle ruler. And I also uh, picked up these um, supports, these wedges that go into the corner um, and ensure that the canvas uh, has the right angle in there, they're a little bit tight, but they'll hold. They should hold it in place as well. And I'm going to put. I drop a little bit of. Uh, I drop wood glue into my frames, basically just to hold them rather than um, go with the wedges. Um, that's what I tend to do, just because that sort of suits me and makes me feel a bit more confident about the frame holding together. So that's what I'm going to do. So we got the the frames to put together, and then we're going to put the uh, put a drop a little drop of wood glue in each one, set these up put it out and then leave it to dry. Let's see how that goes. Two pieces in here that I'm gonna be using at some point, but uh, the key one here is the wood glue. So I'm using Gorilla wood glue as well. Um, so here we go. Put the four corners out. Now, so all I do with the wood glue, and you know, people might say, ah, you shouldn't do that. Good, tell me what I should do. Because I actually don't know. I, I literally am making this up as I go along. I've just always done it this way. Um, just to just just because I've had no actual uh, training on on this, somebody showed me how to put. Um, so we had a little look at how to make sort of very um, 
quite amateurish frames uh, using a bit of using a bit of basic pine wood um, and sort of supports in the corners and so on. And it was all it was all a little bit um, amateurish, if I'm honest. I'm actually doing this wrong because what I should be doing is one corner at a time because <laughs> I'm, I'm already getting more glue all over the place. Shocker. Um, <laughs> brilliant. I'm just going to go wash my hands. <laughs> right, so let's do this Let's do this first corner. They basically just slot in together like so. Yeah, in it goes. And that's all I'm going to do to start with. I'm definitely going to need a cloth or something for, for the wood glue that I've got. Just slotting them in to start with, they go in nice and easy. Huh? You know, there's no force in there, you don't need a hammer or anything to wedge them in. Or a mallet. I do have a mallet somewhere actually, used for tapping. Um, but I don't really need that at the moment. So here's the next one, and again, they literally they slot in so easy. <laughs> he says that this one won't. They slot in nice and easy, like so. A little squeeze of the wood glue. Let's just get that. Put that away. In it goes. And this one, so this one is a little stiff, so um, I can just get a mallet, you can see it. I can literally just tap it in, like so, until it's in together, if necessary. But very rarely do you need to do that because um, they do sort of sit in quite nicely anyway. So now that the corners uh, are in, we need to just start looking at uh, the right angles to make sure that we're on the. Can't pick that up. Just start looking at the right angles to make sure that we're on the right track with each one. So I'm just going around doing that as we speak. Um, and so there is a little bit of maneuvering around to be done because it's just a little bit off center. So this is where these uh, now come into play. If I roll, if I flip the flip the frame over and we can literally just, if I get this bit right, they're very tight on here. So we literally can just slot them on like so and they're sitting, that's one sitting in place. The next one. So I picked these up on Amazon. Like I said, they're quite stiff still, uh, quite tricky, quite stiff, quite tricky to fit on. They do, they are, they are a snug fit once they go on, which is good. But that obviously is going to ensure that they're they're holding us right angles. This one. Um, and as I've said, as I keep on saying, you know, I, I've had no. Uh, professional training for this sort of thing. Um, I've I literally gone along as and sort of learnt as I've gone. I went the, took a um, took a leap of faith by ordering frames in the first place to build myself. I found it was a cheaper alternative to buying quality frames of this size. Um, and I do think that the I do think that the quality is. Um, of these frames is is very good and um, what I've done in the past is use calico but as you'll see with this canvas I've bought some uh, 12 ounce duck cotton so we'll we'll see now that should in again that should improve um, the quality of the canvas yet again um, that's why in the past some of my canvases have been a little bit cheaper price depending on the, 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 the thickness of the calico and the quality of the calico. So that's just, uh, the, the, the right angle supports in place. Um, we can just double check as well. I'm just going to double check as well that they're, they're now fitting as right, in right angles. I'm not going to worry about the crossbar. That one really, um, that will come later. And I can again, I can just, if I put this on here, Looking good, so I'm gonna put my back to the camera. Very nice. So there you go, so it's all set up, right angles checked, 
and um, a tiny little bit of wood glue in each one just to hold it to help it to stick. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to put the cross frame on as well, the cross bar on as well, and um, and then we'll just leave it to then we'll just leave it to dry. So for the crossbar, just need to work out the centre, which obviously it's a 40, so that's a 20, 20 inches. Just in there. Just make a little mark with my thumb, so that we know where the centre is. Same on this side. 20. Are. So the crossbar is like so, just actually slot it in on both sides. There it is, that's in center, that's that center. Just check we have this balanced, uh, knocked out any of the corners, which I don't think we did. Check in. No, that's all good. And so there, the crossbar is in. That's where the crossbar will sit. Tiny little bit of wood glue. Virtually nothing on both sides. Just a tiny little bit just to hold it in. Roll it back in with the wood glue. And there it is. So that's that. Check the right angles off on here. Yep. Yep. Yes. It is all good, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to let that all just sit in glue now. Sometimes what I do as well, just to ensure that the uh, cross frame holds in its place, is just to put a simple staple across across the line there. That's going to hold now. That's not going anywhere. That'll support that that the two longer beam. That'll support the two longer stretchers. Um, this is ready to just kind of rev up and dry. I like the, the wood glue because when it comes to putting the canvas on, I want it to be tight and solid, not move around too much. And I know you've got the, the, the stretch bits that go in the sides, but I tend not to be too confident about using those. I'd rather set it up this way so that it's solid. So there you go, that's that for now. When this is tightened up and glued in, then um, we'll have a look at the new canvas that I've purchased and, and fingers crossed it's, it's quite good. Otherwise I'll be sending it back. <laughs>